Vasta Platform Limited, Bobby. Like, that's literally the first thing I saw, I thought of when I saw this name. Is making a terrible, terrible movie quote pun. This is my sense of humor. They are an education company providing educational and digital solutions to private schools operating in the K-12 educational sector in Brazil. Huh. There's a lot of information to process here. K-12 private schools. So they don't own the schools, but they provide the solutions to them in Brazil. That's a very limited market. Um, hmm. Content and ed tech platform and digital platform. Okay. I don't think... Wow, 4,167 partner schools. Damn. And, and enrolled students include included 1,311,000. 1, so uh, what, that, that, that's effectively 1,311,000. That's, uh, that's actually pretty impressive. Maybe, maybe it's not as limited a market as I would have thought. I mean, Brazil is a big country, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, so that's not that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Why am I not seeing 2020 earnings here? Oh, probably because uh, annual earnings are not complete yet. Yeah, we're only at quarter three. So they've been they've been doing good. Uh, I'm gonna say this is due to COVID slump. That is my that is my guesstimate. Oh, they all wait a minute. They only IPO'd last year. They only IPO'd last year. I think this is I think this is another instance where Yahoo is pulling in a separate ticker that it thinks is this one. But that makes me th uh, what? I'm not too sure. Like, if the cutoff... Oh, hmm. oh, man, I'm getting frustrated because this is this is an enigma that I could unlock if I have the time, but I just don't have the time! So all I gotta do is read articles, because this... I can't... This chart, this chart ain't telling me nothing. It's just a bunch of up-down. Stupid chart. All right. So, how far off is Vista Platform Limited from its intrinsic value? That's a good question. Ten year free free cash flow. Actually, you know what? I, you know what I just realized. This might not be Yahoo screwing up. It 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 may be pulling in. Yahoo may actually be doing a good job because it's potentially pulling in earnings reports from when it was a private company and reporting them along with it now that it's, now that it's public. That, that, might, that might be what's happening. So I think I've been shitting on Yahoo this whole time, but it's actually doing a good job. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yahoo. I'm sorry. I love you. All right, ten year free cash, free cash. So we need to calculate terminal value. All right, just give me the bottom number, jeez. Approximate value, like any complex number, garbage in, garbage out. So they think it's overvalued, but that was a while ago. That was two months ago. They they did that math, and it's gone up since then. It's gone a, a little bit, you know, not, not a whole lot up, a little bit up. Acquires Merit, leading digital assessment, assessment platform. Okay, that's impressive. I want to read about why their third quarter results were terrible. Ah, uh, no. 
if I kept scrolling down, I might have might have been able to figure out why it had that massive, uh, why the revenues and the earnings are slumping. This is a hard call because I don't really have a whole lot. Again, I don't have a whole lot of information to go off of. But. Ah uh, no! Hold on. Let me just do some. Let me just do some thinking real quick. Let me just. Let me. Let me just. Let me. Okay, I think I have it. This is at the risk of sounding like a bullish moron for this session, which I'm not. I swear I'm not. I want to say this is a buy, but let me but let me frame this because I am considering this a COVID play. And actually, oh shit, you know, something I just realized is that COVID plays in Brazil are way different than COVID plays in the United States. Because as hard the United States has dropped the ball, like Brazil, like, like the ball like the ball dropped, it rolled away, and then a car ran it over, and then now the kids, like, uh, like, like, like in the street dodging cars to get his ball has been run over. Like, that's, like, that's, like, that's the comparison of the situation. So COVID plays for Brazil are probably not going to do going to do as good, at least in the short term. As they're still going to recover. Like COVID is not going to be a thing. For, like well, okay, COVID is going to be is going to be a thing forever. But people, are, eventually, I would like to think everyone in the world is going to get vaccinated. But when is that? Is that five years away? Probably, maybe. I don't even know what vaccinations look like in Brazil. Are they even doing vaccinations? I don't know. But if you are in it for the long haul, the long term, potentially willing to hold until COVID is no longer a thing, both globally and in Brazil, or at least not as big of a thing, then I would say this is a buy. Despite my better judgment, probably. Why am I? Why am I so bullish this session? I have lost my. I have lost my gourd. I'm completely out. Of, I'm completely out of my mind. 